What's up y'all? My camera is about to die. Hopefully it doesn't die during this video. So basically, I'm just gonna be talking to y'all about, about the three months that I was off tea. A lot of people have been asking me exactly what I went through and how long was the process and how long was being off tea. So I'm going to cover that in depth because yeah, the last three or four months were kind of like everywhere. Like I never really sat down with you. Yeah, I did, I sat down with y'all. But anyways, this is me talking about what I have went through in these last three to four months. First off, um, I wanna tell y'all, Pierre, my bunny is walking over my Gatorade. Homie, get this fuck. Say hi, buddy. He was walking over my Gatorade. Why you do that? I love him though. But yeah, so I was off tea for three months in total. Um, I thought the process was gonna, was gonna take like two months or a month and a half, but it ended up being off tea for three months. And that was not an easy three months. I definitely struggled when I got to like the two and a half mark because, you know, the first month, the second month, it's whatever. Like, obviously I'm sad because I'm not on tea, but the changes didn't start to set in. But at the two and a half mark, bro, I noticed a change and it was not good. So my mental health um, started to decline drastically. So that that was not fun. That's kind of why I took a break off YouTube. I just posted the Egg Retrieval video and I posted like um, the one saying it's almost over because that's pretty much all I could even push out. I had no motivation, no nothing, no drive to do anything. So basically, yeah, the last three months, four months now, it's been about four months since I started the process. Those four months were ass. And I say four months because I spent one month just trying to like get myself back to where I am now, like back to where I was before I got off T. Um, yeah, so for a month on T, I didn't really see any changes. I, I was like, okay, I'm on T, but I don't, I'm not starting to get masculine quick. So now I'm like a month and a half on T and I can obviously see, you know. I'm getting bigger. Um, my weight skyrocketed. Before, well, during this process, I think my lowest weight was like 160, and now I'm back to 172. Um, <laughs> yeah, so definitely I lost a lot of weight. I just could not eat as much. Testosterone makes you a bear that eats a lot. Um, without it, I was just nauseous, and I did not want to eat. And if I did eat, it was not that much. So yeah, I definitely lost. I lost like 15 pounds. Plain and simple. I was 175 prior to doing this, so I'm trying to get back to that 175 plus more. So, yeah, definitely some some weight shifting. You can definitely expect that. Um, you can't really even combat that that much. I tried to like you know keep my my like appetite up, try to keep my calories up to like, you know maintain the muscle and the weight, but you can't. I'm sorry, but like you just you just cannot. If you're off testosterone, your body's gonna be thrown off and you're going to drop weight. So that's just what it is. But as soon as you get back on tea, you're going to gain weight inevitably. Like I took my first tea shot the day after I was hungry as fuck. Also, so I did not wait. I know this is kinda bad, but I didn't wait to take my tea shot. The day that I got back from the egg retrieval surgery, I took my tea shot. My mental health, I could not. So I just took that shit. Um, I don't recommend doing that because maybe it fucked up something. I don't, I don't know, I don't think it fucked up anything, but don't even do it to try. I suggest waiting like five days a week after till your like the bloodedness goes down because yeah, and let me talk about the aftermath of the whole process. So they told me, you know, you might have some like mild cramping after whatever, whatever, right? Bro, I was good at home for like the first three days, and then, bro, tell me why. Like five days after, I'm in the most the most pain I've ever felt in my entire life. The most pain I have ever felt in my entire life. I'm not trying to say like don't do this, but I'm just telling y'all straight up. Those, like the cramps, they weren't even cr they were cramps, bro. Those shits felt like somebody was stabbing me. Like, I know everyone says, oh, it feels like I'm getting stabbed. Nah, it feels like I was getting stabbed with, like, the most, like, vile weapon you could ever, like, create. Like, bro, that shit was bad. My bunny is in between my legs. But, yeah, that shit was bad. And it lasted for, like, two or three days of, like, horribleness. Then it subsided and then got better. But those two or three days were so bad. I could not go anywhere. I didn't, I didn't leave my house. I did not leave. I did not leave my house anywhere lifting anything would make it worse i literally just had to sit on my couch and just like hold on for dear life type shit like i swear i would take tylenols and it wouldn't really do anything so i was just kind of fucked like i just kind of had to feel that pain and you know but hey thanks to that my pain tolerance is way higher so yeah but anyway so yeah i was off duty for three months um 
after the surgery was pretty 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 fucking horrible so now i'm gonna talk to you guys about how i feel being back on t so immediately after my t shot like i said my hunger skyrocketed my mental health was just better because i knew that i was on the path to being where i was prior and surpassing that i'm not even like thinking about it as in like oh i want to get back to how i used to be fuck that i'm trying to be like a whole different person um i'm on some crazy shit so yeah but i feel so so good right now like i'm in the gym lifting heavy as fuck i literally am surpassing my prior physique to doing this process like it's not even like this shit was a setback like, this shit if anything fueled me to be more of a beast and to take over shit like bro because i don't know man something about being down and depressed just makes you want to go so fucking hard when you're able to go so fucking hard like i made a song bro and i literally was just talking about how like i don't have no motivation type shit like at all when i was off to you i ain't been myself these last three months you fucked up my soul ruben spread just like some butter catch us everything you told nah hey huh i ain't been myself without that drug i don't feel whole needed to be down to show myself that i will never fall such a mouth to you and just now that I have that motivation back because of testosterone and I feel like myself again, it's over with. Like, I'm going crazy. I'm going apeshit. I am going to, like, just, I'm not even going to gas myself anymore. But basically, I feel fucking good. Um, I was slacking on my homework, like, off T. Now I'm on my shit. Like, I'm on my shit again. It was so hard to get things done. I literally started my first, I literally started, um, my second to last semester before I transferred to a Cal State while I was injecting myself with all those injections. Like my first day of school, I was injected the fuck up. I was already on two or three different injections, um, feeling not like myself and I still pushed through. Like that shit was tough, but I still did it. Um, but now I'm, I'm great. I'm great. I'm doing great in my classes. Um, I feel like myself, I'm putting out content. Like shit is just great, man. Shit's great. I, I definitely recommend doing this thing um you know it's for a good cause like do you want to have kids even if you don't want to have kids later i think it's great to give yourself the opportunity to choose that later on in the future don't just like cancel that out for yourself because you do you never know um my advice is don't dwell on the fact that you're off t too much i just really have to stay busy and do things that i liked i still went to the gym the gym is probably the thing that saved me throughout this whole process just because um you know, it kind of kept me in that same routine. I never really fell out of my routine too hard. I did. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing the same things that I would usually do. I wasn't as active, but you have to keep yourself in some of, some of that routine to keep your brain thinking that, you know, to keep your brain alive, to keep to keep sanity, basically. I would not change anything. Um, sometimes, bro, you got to go through hard shit and you'll get that reward after. So I don't see it as like, oh, boohoo, me, I have to go through that. I see it as, you know, fuck it. I learned from that shit. That shit made me stronger, so I'm not even tripping. Um, yeah, it, it just something I had to do. Like, I had to suck that shit up. It's something I had to do to get to where I want to be. If I want to be a dad one day, I had to do that shit. So it wasn't even like, it wasn't nothing major. But yeah, um, I'm back, y'all. I'm back. I'm back. I'm sorry if I'm horrible at like articulating what I want to say. I just woke up. It's 12 p.m. on a Sunday. I just woke up, but I just wanted to make this little video because y'all be asking me how long I was off tea. This is that. So honestly, pretty much it. So yeah, if you guys have any more questions, please do not hesitate to let me know. I love replying to you guys. Um, thank you for 300 subs, bro. Three the fuck hundred subs. That's a lot of fucking subscriptions, bro. I fuck with everybody that watches my shit and supports me because y'all don't, don't have to. Like, y'all do not have to. I even fucking appreciate the creepers that don't subscribe to me but just watch my shit. Like, thank you for the views, bro. Thank you. I forgot I didn't really record an outro, so this is my outro. Uh, thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all in the things that you don't know. Trying to get a grip on life, but it felt like I lost control. Damn, it's feeling like I lost control. I'm trying to reconnect my spirit, body, mind, and soul. I just buy my bitch some subies and we kicked it at the grove. She gon' pop up all you bitches, she gon' reap what she gon' sow. Everybody gonna hate me once they see how far I go. Yeah, huh, damn, nah, huh. Everybody gonna work, uh, uh, damn, ayy. I just wanna be alone. Cause he the one who saved my soul Damn, but I just